Decepticon. Any last words? This is not your pleasure to rule. The fallen shall rise again. That doesn't sound good. Not today. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee, and consider thee, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? The Most High created the earth and everything that is in it. The earth belonged to the Most High. The scriptures confirm that the Elohim of Israel, who has no beginning or end, created the earth and everything that is in it. The whole world is his. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness, and the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord. And thou art exalted as head above all. The heavens are thine. The earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. There has never been a time that the Most High did not exist. Only a fool say in his heart, there is no Elohim of Israel. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. Israelites, it is important to understand that the Most High has no equal. Yah could govern his creation however way he pleased. There is none that could bring a charge against the Most High. Yah gave the people that is made in his image dominion over the earth. The Most High gave the indigenous black people authority to rule over everything in the earth. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. To the indigenous black people of the earth that are made in the image of the Most High, it is your right to rule over everything in this earth. The Most High gave you authority to rule. Due to the fall of men, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. When Adam decided to disobey the Most High by not taking heed to the Most High's instructions, that was the beginning to the fall of men. The dominion given to Adam and Eve was transferred to the wicked. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. The earth is run by the prince of the air, the god of this world, through his children, the seed of the fallen. Fast forward to this generation, the battle between good and evil continues. We live in a world full of illusions and duality. We must learn to differentiate the truth from the lies. For Satan to rule in the sides of the north, he must present himself as the most high. That is exactly what Satan did when he created religion and presented himself as God in the flesh through the false messiah that came in his own name. The people of the most high has fallen prey to the image of the beast. The indigenous people are worshiping the image of the beast all over the world. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. 
It is extremely difficult to convince the indigenous people in religion that the image presented to them as the Messiah that has come to save them is an idol and Satan in disguise. They have fallen prey to the worship of the false Messiah. Religion is the gateway holding the people of the Most High hostage. Israelites, the mystery goes deeper than religion. Once you learn how to discern the truth from the lies, you will gain a better understanding of the world you live in. The Most High's kingdom is not of this world. Yahshua revealed to the workers of iniquity during his time that the Most High's kingdom is not of this world. Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priest have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. The Most High's kingdom is of righteousness. The lawlessness that is taking place in this world will not be taking place in the Most High's kingdom. This is the times of the heathens. Satan's kingdom is of this world. That is why he is the God of this world. When Satan rebelled, the Most High cast him out of the heavenly places to earth. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. The book of Revelations, chapter 12, verse 7, reveal there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against Satan and his angels. Satan and his angels were defeated, and there was not a place found for them in the heavenly places. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. As you continue to read in the book of Revelations, chapter 12 verse 9 said, Satan and his angels was cast out to the earth. Satan was not the only one cast out. There was a group of angels cast out with him. Remember, Satan is an angel. Satan and the angels that rebel is called fallen angels. Other names for the fallen angels are demon and sons of God. Revelations chapter 12 verse 9 also revealed that Satan deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Israelites, it is important to read the full verse and do not form your own conclusions. There was a lot revealed to us in Revelations chapter 12 verse 9. The fallen angels were here before the Most High made men in his image and gave them the authority to rule the earth. The fallen live on earth with the indigenous people. That is how Satan deceived Eve and Adam in the Garden of Eden. You live among unclean spirits and demons. The scriptures reveal to us that Satan prowls around like a roaring lion seeking whom he could devour. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. In the book of Job, chapter 2, verse 2, the Most High asked Satan where he has come from. Satan responds to the Most High from roaming the earth and walking back and forth on the earth. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Israelites, this should be of no surprise to you that Satan roams the earth and the fallen angels dwell here with you. Can you comprehend why we live in a lawless society and the wicked is ruling? There are unclean spirits and demons among us that influence the people of the Most High to rebel. Unclean spirits are disembodied spirits. When Noah's family began to multiply on earth, the fallen angels, the scriptures called the sons of God, saw that the daughters of men were beautiful. They took for themselves wives and had children with them. These children, the scriptures describe as giants. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. The offspring of the fallen and the daughters of men were giants. That is how you could differentiate the offspring of the fallen from the children of men. The scriptures reveal in Genesis chapter 6 verse 4, the giants were mighty men and men of renown. 
The same verse revealed the seed of the fallen continued to live after the flood. The Nephilim hybrids had children of their own. David and his men slew the Nephilim in his generation as well as the children of the Nephilim. These were born unto the giant in Gath, and they fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. The seed of the fallen did not stop procreating with the indigenous people. The seed of the fallen taught the children of men a lot of things. The book of Jubilees and the book of Enoch will reveal more on this topic. The book of Jubilees called the children born to the giants, Eljo. The Eljos had the spirit of their fathers and a mortal body like their mothers. The more the seed of the fallen procreate with the indigenous people, the more mortal they became and their size decreased. So far, only the book of Jubilees referenced the offspring of the Nephilims as Eljos. The Bible referenced Gath as a location that had the descendants of the Nephilims dwelling there. David and his men slew four Eljos in Gath. These four were born to the giant in Gath and fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. The Eljos, the children of the Nephilim, reproduce among themselves as well as reproduce with the children of men. The offspring of the Eljo are what we know as the Neanderthals. If you do your research on the Neanderthals, you will find that they appear to be human. However, they are of a different species from the indigenous black people. The Neanderthals are pale skin with straight hair. Some species of Neanderthals were tall like their fathers, the Eljo and the Nephilims. Most Neanderthals were shorter than the indigenous people. The Neanderthals were stronger than the children of men. The scriptures describe the fallen seed as men of renown and mighty men. The indigenous people often used the Nephilims in their armies. Remember the Philistines' champion Goliath that disregarded the armies of the Most High? As he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words, and David heard them. And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine, and taketh away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine, that he should defy the armies of the living God? The Neanderthals dwell in the land of the north. Most people believe the land of the north is modern-day Europe. However, Europe we know today is a small part of the land of the north. The land of the north includes Asia and all the nations in Eastern Europe. The land of the north was known as Eurasia. The birthplace of the Neanderthals is Eurasia. The Neanderthals dwell in caves, the Caucasus Mountain. If we go back into the Bible, we know that Satan said he would set his kingdom in the mounts of the congregation on the sides of the north. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. History and the scriptures must align. If Satan's kingdom is in the land of the north, his seed will also come from the land of the north. Satan's seed is in Rome, the birthplace to religion. The mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, is the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan. The Roman Catholic Church influenced every religion in this world. Governments and building architectural structures imitates the design to where Satan seat, the Vatican City. Rome and the USA are identical. It is safe to say the USA is a part of the Roman Empire. Through the church, Satan is getting the worship he lusts after. Through the pagan church, Satan is ascending above the heights of the clouds to be like the Most High. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Knowing real history and being led by the Spirit of the Most High will open your eyes. When the Most High distributed the earth to Noah's sons, Japheth inherited the land of the north. The climate to his land is cold. Shem inherited the middle of the earth. The climate to his land inheritance is neither hot nor cold. Ham inherited the land in the south. The climate to Ham's land inheritance is hot. All three of Noah's sons complained to Noah of the demons in the flesh that was tormenting their children. 
the seed of the fallen infiltrate all three of Noah's son's bloodline. The scripture said, while man slept, Satan planted tares among the wheat and went his way. But while man slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. When the seed of the fallen conquered land all over the world and colonized the people, the first thing they did was plant their seed among the indigenous population to change the appearance to the black indigenous people. Once the appearance of the indigenous population begins to change, the seed of the fallen assume the identity of the indigenous people. The beast system recognizes that the original man and woman that carry the human DNA are homo sapiens. Homo sapiens are the indigenous black people who inherited the earth. They are the most highest creation. Homo sapiens live all over the world. When Noah's sons fill the earth, they dwell in the lands inherited from their fathers, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. The beast system wants to make it appear as if the Neanderthals are instinct. The Neanderthals are not instinct. The modern day Neanderthals are the Caucasians and Asian people that once lived in caves in the Caucasus Mountains and everywhere their remains were found in Eurasia. Caucasians and Asian people beginnings stems from the land of the north. That is facts. This is not hate speech or racism. This is history and truth. It is widely known that Caucasians and Asians have Neanderthal DNA. Remember, Neanderthals are the offspring of the Eljo who descends from the Nephthalims. The beast system never reveals the background and origins to the Neanderthals. They have all the information about the Neanderthals. However, when it comes to their origins, it is unknown. Today you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Homo sapiens and Neanderthals are two different species. Homo sapiens are human and they are the creation of the Most High, while the admixture that made the serpent seed is another species that stems from the kingdom of darkness. You can clearly see a difference in Homo sapiens and the serpent seed. You will not find Neanderthal DNA in the indigenous black people. If you find Neanderthal DNA in a black person, that person is of a mixed heritage. The book of Enoch reveals the appearance of the fallen angels and their seed. The serpent seed description in the book of Enoch, chapter 106, matched the Neanderthal's bloodline in the past and now. The beast system has the same description as the book of Enoch, fair-skinned, straight hair, and colored eyes. In the sides of the north is where Satan said he would set his kingdom. The Bible confirms the seed of the fallen when David slew Goliath and his descendants. The book of Jubilees revealed the barbaric nature of the Eljo and the Nephilim. The modern day Neanderthals behavior towards the indigenous black people and themselves match their ancestors. The modern day Neanderthals live in a society that give them power over the indigenous black population. They are ruling with their father, Satan. Satan is the god of this world. Remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The Caucasians and all their subspecies rule in every land on this earth. The world only accepts the various species of people that comes from the product of its kind. The serpent seed has multiple subspecies in this world. A white person from Latin America is the same with a white person from Europe. The only thing that separates them is their culture and land birth. The same with black people from the West. The only thing that separates a Haitian from an African from Ghana is culture and bloodline. The only thing that separates an indigenous person from the USA from a black person from East Africa is culture and bloodline. The serpent seed does not operate by bloodline. That is why they made a system that is based on appearance and land birth. The serpent seed only has one bloodline, which is the fallen's bloodline. There is no such thing as race. You could only be white or black. 
meaning an original indigenous black person made in the image of the most high or a person that comes from the serpent seed in a mix between the two. The beast system is the creator of race. That is why race is based on appearance and place of birth. Setting up a system that is based on a person's appearance would better conceal the serpent seed from the original population. The scriptures reveal the Most High does not consider the outward appearance to identify his people. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. The reason the Most High does not consider the outward appearance, the people that are made in the image of the Most High look alike. The indigenous people stem from three brothers, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Bloodline is what separates the indigenous people. Israelites, do you understand the reason the Most High do not want you to mix your seed? Most Israelites do not understand when you procreate with the heathen, you are creating a new bloodline. You are not passing on Jacob's heritage to your offspring. It takes two of the same kind to reproduce itself. The Most High do not want animals to crossbreed, let alone his people. He shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. When you procreate with the seed of the fallen, you are creating a hybrid. Many Israelites fail to comprehend. Once your seed is whited out, your seed is no longer Shemitic or even human. By the fourth generation, there is no indigenous blood in your offspring, making the child a full-blown hybrid. The modern-day Nehendathals know this. Therefore, they are promoting interracial relationships and families in mainstream media. They need to increase their population. If the serpent seed do not breed back into the indigenous population, they will die out. The serpent seed get into a relationship with an indigenous person to increase their population. Love has nothing to do with it. There is a misconception about Japheth bloodline that is taking over the awakening. Israelites, just because the land of the north is whited out, this does not conclude Japheth's seed is whited out. Japheth indigenous black population still dwell in the land of the north. Mainstream media hide them from you, just like they hide the indigenous black Mizraim Egypt descendants. They either push them out into sub-Saharan Africa or hide them from the media. Japheth bloodline is not the only bloodline that was infiltrated and being personated. Shem and Ham's bloodline was infiltrated as well. There is a group of Nehendathals pretending to be Israelites. They go by the name Jew. Israelites, if you could find indigenous black Shemites like us who are claiming our heritage, Japheth has indigenous descendants living today and they are dwelling close. Japheth would dwell in the tents of Shem. The Most High said he would enlarge Japheth. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. If an indigenous person is whited out, that person is a hybrid. The whited out population dwelling in the land of the north are hybrids that stems from the seed of the fallen. Test their DNA. DNA does not lie. The life to all flesh is in the blood. For it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh. For the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. There is an increase of indigenous people falling in love with demons. They are marrying demons and making demonic children with the serpent seed. This is why the Most High said a mamzer cannot enter his congregation. Even to his 10th generation, a mamzer cannot enter. Too many seeds are being spoiled in this wicked generation. Just because you include them in the false 12 tribe chart, this does not give you permission to marry them. Just because you believe you are the progenitor of the Israelite bloodline, this does not conclude you are making Israelite children or even human children with the heathens. By the way, Jacob is the only progenitor of the Israelite bloodline. 
The Most High said, The wicked of his people shall die. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. The land of the north was given to Japheth and his descendants. The serpent seed has taken over Japheth's land inheritance. From the land of the north, the seed of the fallen is impersonating the indigenous people all over the world. From the land of the north came the abominations from the kingdom of darkness that is devastating the indigenous people worldwide. Satan set up his kingdom in the land of the north to control the world. I believe Satan chose the land of the north because the Most High said he would enlarge Japheth. In addition, Japheth would dwell in the tents of Shem. Satan used this prophecy to spread his seed all over the world. The land of the north lacked natural resources. That is another reason the serpent seed conquered land all over the world to build Satan's kingdom in the north. The cold climates in the north helped the fallen seed survive due to their lack of melanin. Have you noticed in the north they multiply? Everywhere else the fallen seed dwell, they must intermingle with the indigenous population to survive. In order to understand the world you live in, you must return everything back to its natural order. Once you place the indigenous people back to their natural position, you will begin to see the infiltration in everything that is not aligned. The serpent seed can manipulate history. However, everything that is hidden will be made known. But nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Israelites, the seed of the fallen exists and they live among us today. The descendants of the Nephilim giants dwell among us. The seed of the fallen continue to mutate over the years. The present Neanderthal genes in the Asians and Caucasian DNA is the evidence that you need. The scripture said, you will know them by their fruits. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. The Most High said, in the last days, knowledge would increase. Israelites, take advantage of the abundant knowledge Yah is making available to you. What is impossible with men is possible with the Most High. You can no longer operate with a carnal mind. The mind of the flesh is closed to the spirit. Ask the Most High to give you a double portion of the spirit of discernment. It is time for you to stop believing in the illusions that is blinding your sight. If you have ears to hear, let them hear. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand.